which is going to be the Australian Challenge. Oh boy, speaking of supercars, let's do the Australian Challenge. It's a single race through Scenic Drive to prove uh, to prove which of the two Australian cars can cl claim to be the best. Oh my god, I can't speak. You have your choice of the Ford TS50 or the HSV Coupe GTS. Finish in the top three to earn a medal. Oh, here we go. Is everything on fire? We're about to find out. <clears throat> so, like I said, we have the two Oz cars to choose from. Considering I haven't driven the non-police version of the HSV, I'm going to go with that in red because Holden. This is the HSV Coupe GTS. Its V8 engine motivates 3,700 pounds from a standing start to 100 miles an hour in 11.3 seconds. Acceleration tops out at an impressive 170 miles an hour. Yeah. Pretty sure I already played that for the police version, but whatever. Fuck it. <clears throat> obligatory, yeah, obligatory fuck GM comment. I wonder how many brands they have to kill off before GM just completely goes under. <laughs> Because there's a lot. Oh, hey, it's five Holdens to three Fords. All right. We got Connor, Mercury, Slicks, Winona, Clipper, Andros, and Ghoul. For our... Well, I say opponents, but they're just here. They're here for a Sunday drive. Put me go under with them. Oh, they won't. I mean, it'd be, it would be good. Oh, this is a point-to-point -point track. Bring back Pontiac. Honestly, Pontiac wasn't that great of a brand. The cars were cool. They're also not built very well. The build quality was kind of awful on Pontiacs. Why do I keep going through the gears like this? Up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, up, down, down. <clears throat> that sounds like an extremely EA thing that they would do. Oh shit. Oh, f that's a tree. Guys, is this my actual, like, challenge? Are the AI, have, have they actually become competent now? Again, that's an extremely EA response. No talk bad. We are God. We are perfect. I fucking just, uh, killed a man. Holden taking out a Ford. Get your tinfoil hats out. Term. Trying to get that look, that good shot for a thumbnail, dude. I can't wait to rewatch the, these entire videos to like try to get the thumbnails and then forget like where any of this is. It's gonna be fun. Oh, oh, he's laying the block. Goodbye. I have now attained the lead. I am P1. And I'll stay P1 for the rest of the race. Yeah, this was uh, released as the GTO. Real talk, I actually really liked the Pontiac, like the uh, the mid 2000s Pontiac GTO. I thought it was a really nice car. And then there's a, uh, a race version of it, which looked really fucking nice, with, uh... Oh, what team fielded that car? Wasn't it uh, TRG? The racers group? Or something? Had an amazing livery on it. Instantly became a favorite of mine. Play that game later on. Why later, when you can play, no play along now? Yeah, same Lotus. Oh, fuck me. This track of mine burn out through so much. Um... I don't know. Because it's open road and twisty. Yay! Winner is me. Looks the same as Monaro. So much better. Look at that points difference, because I get all the bonuses from, like, the medals and shit. 
I earned 20,000 more points, no big deal. Only won by 13 seconds that time. Also, it was pretty much a, almost a full hold and sweep. Rip. You have been awarded the gold! Yeah. Alright. That was, uh... The race looked like it was going to be somewhat difficult, but then once I got the lead, well, there was no turning back, so there we go. Another uh, event done, and I believe that means we are a third through the game now, because we've done 11 events in both of the uh, the uh, the trees. Or brackets, or whatever you want to call this.